I generally am looking five years out, six years out, and I don't think anything's really changed in terms of the path of healthcare in the United States. Uh, you, you see a lot of distraction from various areas, federal government, state government. You, these are all distractions. I think ultimately um, payers are going to look more like providers and providers are going to look more payers. That's been happening for a while. How we get there is going to be disruptive. And that's what you're going to see is continued disruption, I think, in 2018. Particularly here in the state of Texas, you've got payer models changing. You've got our 1115 Medicaid waiver uh, in 2021 that's going to change or go away unless we learn to change it. We have reprocurement of managed care organization contracts for, for Medicaid. Uh, right there, you're talking about $16 billion in the healthcare industry with those two changes on 2021. We've all heard about the announcement of J.P. Morgan, the Amazon, and Hershire Bathway coming together to try and uh, disrupt the employee market. And then finally, here in Texas, we have uh, for 2021 a majority minority population for the first time. So our population is going to change. So if you take a look at that and you say, hey, 2021, we're going to have um, possibly a new administration, possibly not, but there's going to be a lot of conversations at, at the White House on who's going to be sitting there plus the 87th uh, Texas legislative session is going to be starting. I think you can really only look four to five years out at this point and realize that there's just going to be disruption next year, the year after, the year after, until we get a clearer picture.